Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through volcanic eruptions guys. So this is also a part of disaster only guys. So this is also a disaster which occurs due to volcanic eruptions. So the mountains which contain the volcano will be erupted outside of outside to the mountain guys. So basically the mountain internally contains of multiple things right. So these mountains are directly connected to core of the earth guys you can say like that. So basically core or crust of the earth will be containing some kind of dangerous things that can even melt like a particular liquid that can even melt the rocks that can even melt any kind of metals. So that liquid is called as a lava guys. Okay. That liquid you can call it as a lava and these lava will be coming out from the mountain when the eruption occurs. Okay, so it happens when a lava and a gas are discharged from the volcanic vent. So this vent is nothing but the opening of the mountain guys. Okay, okay. So that is nothing but volcanic eruption. So you might be having a doubt that okay, why, is, why does this happen? So the formation of a magma. So basically in the earth's crust or the, uh, in the magma layer. So there will be some kind of chemical reactions which will be going on and that will be causing this. So even the pressure of the gases will also cause this magma to explode or to evolve outside. Okay. Okay. So the major effects of volcanic eruptions will be so that lava will be really hot guys. Right. So the temperature of that will be even melting. Everything means it, the temperature will be really high. So that is the reason why the gases which it evolve or the flow lava is really dangerous. It can even melt a complete human body. So that is the reason why the buildings or anything will not be constructed beside the mountains which are having lava inside them. So th that's really dangerous. So that is the reason why they are not evolved. And even on these mountains, the trees will not even grow guys. So basically by that also you can say that that lava is that much dangerous that it is not even allowing the trees to grow. Okay. Similarly landslides can also be possible due to this lava. Okay. Okay. So now let us go through the theory which was given here. Okay. So the characteristics. So volcanic blasts can destroy structures and environmental surroundings. Yes, I told you, right? So the trees, everything and the structures, the buildings can also be eaten by it. Yes. Okay. So lava flow can bury buildings and crops. Yes. It may also cause a fire and render land usable. So basically, if there is a tree, that tree will automatically catch fire gas because this temperature that the lava will be having is such a way that it can melt anything like even a metal which melts at 1000 or 10,000 degrees Celsius also it will be melting it. So that is the reason why the lava is really dangerous. So ash in this air burns a form and can be formed. Okay. So basically the whatever it is burning it converts automatically into ash guys. Okay. So similarly general countermeasures. So how you can control these things. So you should follow the RAND regulations. So basically beside mountains which are having lava and all those things beside them the accommodation for houses and everything will not be given guys because it's really dangerous right. So anytime that could come out and there will be a huge loss. So that is the reason why you should follow the government rules and everything and lava control system like when the lava is coming like the temperature and everything will be increasing right. It will not go within a second up right so it will take some time slowly it will be moving up so you, you can make some kind of device which can sense the temperature and it which can send the sense sensor temperature to the government or any kind of authority so that they can engage everyone in from these locations away from that position right yes so developing and monitoring warning systems yes that's what i told you reallocating population that's what i told you guys like taking them to some other place okay and similarly special problem areas for disaster management. So basically everything will not be going through plan. So they might there might be some kind of issues. So access during eruption. So basically if the eruption has started even rescue teams cannot go there guys because the temperature and everything will be really high. So there is a rare chance that a rescue team can take that whole project right. Yes. So time and accuracy decision cannot be taken. So basically anything might happen any second. So that is the reason why we cannot predict the time and everything. Okay. Similarly, publicly anything can go like false alarms can be there and small eruptions can be there. So even you place the sensors and everything, you cannot say that that eruption is going on. You must just assume that the sensor gave the value. You will be thinking that there is a chance. That's it. Okay. In that way. Okay. So let us continue and controlling of incoming sorry sightness okay okay 
So I hope everyone got a clear idea about volcanic eruptions. So in the next lecture, we'll be going through tsunamis, guys. Okay, so let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.